There are dozens of sample-based virtual instruments out there nowadays, from the simple pare-down models that are included with most DAWs to the biggest, most comprehensive third-party plugins that fill most of the industry's advanced sampling needs. Logic's EXS24 sampler has always fallen somewhere between those two extremes. It combines a basic, easily navigated front panel layout with a surprisingly full-featured set of options under the hood. One of the very first software samplers, it's always been known as an accessible and efficient virtual instrument that shines at basic sampler applications, while for more elaborate needs, high-end third-party instruments are the usual choice. But EXS can be a lot more powerful than it may seem at first glance. While it may not have as many bells and whistles as some of the top samplers, as an included component of Logic itself, one that only works within Logic, it has an edge. All of the other features in Logic can always be counted on to be available to extend and enhance EXS's own feature set, and some of the new features in Logic 10, like track stacks and patches, can be employed to augment EXS's own capabilities, making this little sampler that could into a much more powerful and advanced instrument than its simple, straightforward appearance would initially suggest. While many DAW-included sample instruments are playback only, EXS is a full sampler. You can add your own samples and create your own sample instruments from scratch. Even though it doesn't have its own visual sample editor within the plugin, a quick click can open any samples into Logic's audio file editor, where they can be tweaked to whatever degree required when creating a new instrument. And as Logic continues to extend EXS's feature set, EXS provides the engine for other Logic features as well. Logic's drum replacement feature calls up EXS to do its job, and EXS is the underlying engine for Logic 10's drummer feature and drum kit designer instrument. EXS's main parameter window offers a full range of patch-based programming controls, including the full complement of standard sampler parameters, pitch control, filter, LFOs, and envelopes, as well as a comprehensive modulation matrix strip, the same one used in the ES2 synth. For basic instrument tweaks, this is all you'd need, but for more elaborate programming, and instrument creation, EXS's second window, the Instrument Editor window, allows for the per-sample settings necessary to set up and control individual sample zones, groups, and key maps. And hidden away in this window are also many of the more advanced EXS functions, many of which can provide capabilities more typically found in high-end third-party samplers. EXS has always been noted for its CPU efficiency, but along with that had always come one of its biggest limitations, its lack of multi-timbral capability. But Logic 10's track stacks and patch format can now be called into service to implement the equivalent of multi-timbral functionality for EXS, finally addressing that lack. Over the years, EXS has gradually grown and expanded with many new features added, while still maintaining backwards compatibility with older EXS presets. Most of these additions have been quietly slipped into the EXS editor window, and Logic 10 added a number of significant new capabilities to EXS, both internal and external. This course will cover both the basics and the advanced aspects of EXS. This will include overall operation, sample management and patch creation, sample layout, zones, groups, and key maps, and all the front panel programming parameters. The course will also dig into the deep end of EXS, its more advanced features, with an eye toward how these features can be used to enhance the realism of its sample-based instruments. Traditionally, this has been the realm of high-end third-party samplers, but despite its seeming simplicity, EXS has the tools to provide highly responsive, highly musical instrument sounds, if you know how to employ those tools. The course will wrap up with a look at how external features in Logic, like track stacks and patches, can be used to address EXS's few remaining limitations. I'll get the ball rolling with the basics, starting with a look at EXS's configuration options, and then we'll move on from there.